Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. With bubbles. Don't forget bubbles. Because I won't let you. No doubt. Alrighty, Wombat, play night in the Venom Garage. Woohoo. I'm thinking. Yeah. CA swipes and triple blooms. Okie dokie. What do you reckon? Woo, that's a challenge. Okay, we'll give it a go. Well, we haven't done it. I know. So I figured why not. Why not indeed. So we've got these really cool little ovals you've made. Yeah. So we're going to rock it on that, I reckon. And see how the adventure takes us. Yeah, okay. I'll take your word for it. Many wouldn't. Thank you. <laughs> no doubt. I'm gonna. So, what are you doing? The, the cell activator swipe? Yep. Yeah. So, I'm just putting a whole heap of gold down at the moment. Okay. And I'm getting upset because I'm getting to the very end of my favourite gold CAs right here. Oh no. Disaster. It is. I know a guy that can make you more. I know. But it's funny, isn't it? You do, you get favourites. It's like that latest black bloom one you made. Yeah. That's a, that's a new fave. It cracks. It is brilliant. It is a beast. I'm definitely digging that one. Alright, I'm pretty sure we can put up a link on the screen right now on how to make your own CO. Why not? Why not indeed? Just in case someone hasn't been here before and goes, hey, I want to give that a go. Yep, that's the link there for the gold CA. That's what number video it is. Yep. Alright. Maybe making pretty patterns in me CO. I've noticed you're making the little patterns. All right, so I'm hoping that's going to be cool. Are you ready, Wombat? As I'll ever be. Ooh, swipe delicious! All them little juicy cracking cells. I was hoping. I was definitely hoping. Yeah. Woo! Love it. Alright, round two. Round two. What I can do is inch that out. Do, do, do. And they might be able to see your pellet knife. Maybe. We'll see. Just a splat. Splat, splat. Oh, come on. Definitely getting low. Oh, you're running down to the very end of it. That's all good. There we go. Whoop. Tip that, tip that, knock that. We got this. So, nothing special. Just slapping it on. Love that purple CA too. Isn't it good? That's a gem. Alright. Bit more gold in that one. Yes. Crack a lacking. Yep. Now, sometimes you can put your skewer through it if you want different patterns or whatever. Mm. But, I'm thinking today, I'm just going to spin it out. And that's, just see what the effects of the CA does. That's not like you. I know, right? You're changing it up. Yeah, because I figure I'm going to triple bloom on it anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, I better. So I just thought what I said I'm about to do. I'm going to ditch these for a minute. And move some colours. Before I get the bubbles! <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm thinking in advance these days. You, you're rocking it. 
Oh, I'm impressed. You should be proud of me. I am, very. Check it. All right. Let's see how she goes. Oh, look how that's opening. That's quite cool. Yeah. On the other side, that gold's so sneaky. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what, what have you done with them all? What have I done with what, dear? All the swipe tools. I haven't had them. You did the last painting, you jerk. <laughs> you jerk, really? There's not one left in the container. Yes, there is. See what happens painting with Wombat? you got to find everything. All right. So. I don't know where the other little swipe tool is. Blame me. You did the last bloom. I don't know what you're talking about. I do. It's on video. <laughs> Just saying. You are busted, dude. All right. Now, I'll grab my colours back. Now, I'm just going to swap that Southern Ocean Blue out for the lighter one. Because I think my first pick would have been a bit too dark. Oh. Alright. Close enough to the middle for bubbles. do it and love this color it's actually tubey this one mix with a little bit of pigment for some pizzazz all right that's our first color Now, an old favourite piggy. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. It's a cool colour, that. does amazing things to other colours. That's why I love it. It's just the bomb. And she's like six months old, this one. So you can see how thick she's got. Man, that's super thick. Should be fine. Hammerhead will not let me down. <laughs> <laughs> it's got this, haven't we, darling? All right. Yes, Custom green from the wombat. Put a bit of that down. Just for a bit of separation with the blues. Gorgeous colour too, doesn't it? Complement the blue. Yeah. So digging that one. Alright. This fabulous little beast and my new Joe Sonia. That's cool, that Joe Sonia. Where is it? It is pearlescent blue. I'm so digging it. Which is. Can't see for the lights, but yeah, pearlescent blue. Really pretty, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's always, it almost reminds me a bit of Blue Eyes mm. from this little piggy. Yeah. But in a tube. In a tubey. I'm quite digging it. Actually, them two would look good mixed together. Wouldn't that be amazing? I'm hearing what you're thinking, and I think that's a good idea. Hmm. Now, this is another oldie. 
can tell by the thickness of that. <laughs> yep. Look at it walks around on its own. Standing on edges. Oh, that's super thick. Yeah, yeah. I like it like that. Because I've got to put one more colour over the top yet, so she's not going to matter. Right. Oh, need a little bit more so at least it runs off the stick. Get there. Go, go, go. See that? <laughs> digging it. Dig, dig, digging it. I love the way that purple and gold's gone. Isn't it nuts? Because it's not sort of taken over, but it's given it a nice background bit of feature. Yeah. Southern Ocean Blue, stage two. Another cool video if you want to see how to mix up um, the one pigment and get uh, one tube paint and get three shades. We can pop that up too because that's pretty cool. Yep. Throw that up on the screen now. You can actually get as many different colours if as you want from it depending on what you add. Well, yeah. It sort of sky's the limit. I love that colour. I love this version, number two. All right, now I need to remember it's like doing a tile, not a big piece. Yes, it's like doing a little dude. It's the hardest thing to get into your head, I reckon, when you've been doing bigger pieces. You do something like this where you've got three smaller blooms. You've got to put less colour down. Less CA, you've got yeah. to remember everything is less to get the best effects. Where normally where you say when you go big, more is better. Yeah. Reverse when they're little. And I reckon that'll do it. Puff, puff. All right, George, be kind. Remember, George has a new battery in it. sink. Hopefully it does. Because <laughs> that would be fantastic. All right. And that's the thing. When you do blooms on the edges or something, they always end up wonky anyway. The center. Okie dokie, be kind to me now, George. They're coming, they're coming. Will I give a little straw on that one?
Ooh, I like that. Now they're little floating effects there. Yeah. Mm. All right. Grab my skewer out. Dive in with a scary skewer. Can be intimidating because sometimes I think when you're first starting out too, you can get that little bit excited and not know when to stop. That's the hard part. Yeah. That's why I always say step back and look from a distance. Look at the centre of that centre bloom. Yeah, that was a beauty. I was happy with that one. Even that one, I'm not too disappointed. This one's still cool. See, that can be a difference too sometimes. Like we use the battery powered pack for our mini blower. And when it starts to get low, you actually, you notice the difference when you're blowing things out. Yeah, you do. Like you really do. And then all of a sudden, when you've got a full battery again, you're like, oh, she's getting away from me. All right. So I think that's pretty cool so far. Let's see what she does. Wipe some of my slop away. That's from my floaty from the CA swipe. Yeah. Man, that looks gorgeous from here. Thanks, Wombat. You're welcome, Bubbles. All right. Now, I'll just take her easy. And we'll just see what she's going to do for us. So the good thing is, too, you can um, spin her out. And if some things go too skew whiff on the edges, you can always just bring your skewer back out too and tidy her up what you like. Exactly. Or you might just love what it turns into. Look at the trippy shape that's gone at the end. Crazy, isn't it? That's weird. Yeah, it looks like flower blown in the wind. That's. Yet them ones stayed pretty cool. Yeah. Trippy, isn't it? This one went. Hey, I'm gonna be an individual. Look at me. I can dig that. I really like that, actually. So, if you got some big bold bits you're not real thrilled about, you still got time, especially with these shish kebab ones, because they're so fine. It doesn't muck up your paint. Gives you that little bit more playroom, doesn't it, Wombat? It does. Heaps more room for activities. So you can just tidy it up a bit if you want. Like, sometimes I'm a fan of things going a bit skew with. Other times I just think, nah. I think sometimes it just depends on your mood of the day, too. Yeah, it does. <coughs> so you can even just change it up. So that's the cool thing with them lines the way they went. You can do a few peacocky. Yeah. Just to change it up, leave a few in between that look long. Just give it a little bit. I think we'll leave that one alone. Make that one look a bit like an orchid. So 
See, that's the thing. If you get dark spots you don't like, just take your light colour up into it. Gives it just that little bit of feature, doesn't it? Yeah. As my dad always says, one of his favourite sayings. You know what? I think I pretty much might just give that a little bit, but not much. Just so it sort of balances out both sides. That yeah. lacing in the background looks awesome. Thank you. And I think that does her, you know. I think she's just enough as she is now. That's beautiful. Thank you, my dog. Yep. I think that one will do. So I might just give her one more little mini spin. That way too, I sort of thought I went a bit different with the background CA swipe, so it was just a bit subtle too, and the blooms would still stand out. Yeah. that up there. We can do a close up one of that one. Yeah, do a flyover. I thought I had heaps of paint on but mustn't have had as much as I thought. Just made it down the sides <laughs> after that CA swipe spin out. Alright, so that should be my close up real done and dusted Mr Wombat. Yeah. Man, that's gorgeous. I love it. So there's something different. We haven't done these, so. Love it. Thought that was pretty cool. It's something different for everyone to have a go at. Absolutely. Change your blooms up. Like, you know, if you're struggling getting your colour to go over the sides, add something else there. Yeah, chop and change. Till you get to where you want to be. Alright, so we'll pause here. And we will come back for you, Mr Wombat. Woohoo! Okey. Dokey. Oh, you're going black pillow too? Yep, I like the black pillows. Works best with the coloured CAs, doesn't it? I like it. Then again, you could go for a more pastel effect with white too, change the whole look. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put some blue CA down. That's gorgeous, that too, that blue. It's like a real royal blue, isn't it? Yeah. I'll grab another stick. I'll go with a purple side devoter. Oh, it sort of reminds me of taffy blue. Yeah. It is. So, just a blob. That's a big floaty pillow. Normally you jump in with your pink. You've been loving that magenta pink lately, I haven't you? I do love it. And doesn't it look amazing? Yep. So that was a pink and a purple. Yeah, look at that. And you know what I love? How sometimes the one colour and um, does the little swirl in the cell? Yeah. It's trippy as. Clever effects, I reckon. I like it. And then, what we're going to do is... Put my pinky magenta side waiter on. See, we've even added, like, you can put, like, a slither of interference paint on, too, and it'll look really cool. Yeah. On your coloured CA. We should do that another week. Yes, I think we should. Because that looks magical. I 
I suppose one good tip and trick too to remember with coloured CA is they can sink a lot slower. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so there's the next one. And the thicker pillow is the best idea because you just um, you get that nice gliding effect through the top layer. It just floats. Yeah. So less chance of you hitting that pillow and getting upset, which is so easy to do. It really is. I spent more time hitting the board than the pillow when I first started. Straight <laughs> through it. <coughs> All right, so. You really got to practice that light hands. You do. And it's not always easy getting that right balance. Now, I know all of this is going to probably come off the side because it's on a big floaty pillow. But it doesn't matter. It should stretch out quite a way. Yep. If you haven't got a spinner, tilt. Just give it a tilt, give it a stretch. It's an easier way to do it. Until you get yourself one. Yeah. Or you might just like the effects if you tilt. Absolutely. You can stretch it on all sorts of weird shapes that way. I mean, some of the most beautiful pieces of artwork I've seen are from tilting. Yeah. Just the way it manipulates everything, it's amazing. Just that matter of having the patience of oh, that. Right, so get rid of some of this excess off. It's sort of a shame to bloom over that. <laughs> I love the pink and blue and twine. It gives it a cool effect, doesn't it? It really, it really does. I love it. Right, so we just go around the edge, get some of that off. That way it's not flicking all over the place. Not that it really matters because it's inside a tub anyway, but... The tubs are great. If you're in Australia, go to Bunnings. They've Bunnings. Got them. $20. You can't go wrong. Ain't bargain. And the paint peels off so easy when Bubbles makes a mess of it. Absolutely it does. Which I've got to tell you is I laugh every time. I think there's a bit of goo in there. He cleans the side up before each video. Yes, there <laughs> And then is. I have a practice run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you never get to see a clean. You never get to see a clean spinner. And he can spend about half hour doing it. So proud of himself. I can wreck it in 10 seconds. That you can. Alright. So we'll pop that one up. Oh, that's <laughs> lightning. How, how crazy is that? Now, colours. Shall I go Big and bold and crazy. Yep. All right. I think it's expected by now. I think so too. All right. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna get the inferno back out. Do the inferno You've back out. You've been using that a lot lately. But I, I do like it. It floats my boat. I might do things a little different to the way you did yours. Yeah, why not? Because... As we say to people, put your own spin on what you see people do. That's it. So what I'm going to do is... Do my centre bloom. Oop, the days. Are you doing the bubbles dropsy over there? I am. I've got butterfingers bad today. Is that because I sat down and usually I do your, your lids up for you? No, it's because I'm just butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a blue. And... Jeez, that wind is really kicking up out there, right? Mate, hey, isn't it what? I'll go my crazy magenta because, mate, I just love that. Especially love that on a black base. You just can't go wrong. Yeah, it's nuts. You really can't go wrong. Oh, and then we'll go with a lighter blue. Like so. Right. Get rid of some of this. Alright. 
boop, 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 boop. Select the right on. It's nice and thick, that one. Isn't it? I love the defined cells you create with it. Crazy, isn't Bright it? and beautiful. You're right. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to put some quick patterns in it. Nothing overboard. Loving them colours with the background swipes. They complement each other beautifully. Right, so what I'm going to do is throw that one down. Is that Santa coming through? See the rings? Spin it out. Don't you lose that center. <laughs> Bubbles is loving it. Then, what I'm going to do is... See, this is a good way too, so it doesn't um, go skew with like my M1 did. But then again, my M1 was because of the way I blew it out too. Yeah. On one side. Sometimes when you put that new battery in, that extra power is a bit of a shock. It is. We live and learn always, don't we people? That we do. That's what makes it fun. And that's the thing, I'm never afraid to show something I'm not 100% happy with because there could be something else there you like as well. Yeah, exactly. And just by showing that too, it can just um, hopefully help someone else. Check the batteries on your mini blower. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <coughs> And I find too, because I'm such a creature of habit when I blow out a bloom, I do it in a certain way every time. And when that battery gets lower, you can get away with a hell of a lot more. Yeah, you can. You can get closer and closer. You can get your nice little feathered edges with getting right up close and personal with the paint. But once that's a new battery, try that up close and personal then, and you're blowing that paint everywhere. Yeah, you're in trouble. I've done that a thousand times too. I just missed the towel and put it right in my hand. Yeah. I think you've been painting with me too long, dear. Oh no. Then again, usually my paper towel just gets stuck to my hands. And I end up picking sheets of paper towel off my fingers. <laughs> Alright. So, that's where we're rocking. Hmm. They gonna look great on them edges. Yeah, I'm gonna have them so they'll actually blow off the edge. Edge, yep. Thought you might. I knew the minute you started to put the colour so close to the edge. Sink. It's 
funny when you watch someone paint long enough, you see what they're up to. <laughs> every now and then you still surprise me though, Wombat. Yeah, every now and again. It's them hidden tricks you keep up your sleeve from me. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, that's bright and beautiful. Look at those cells. That's really lovely. You know what? I actually really love the contrast between the pink on one side and the darker blue on the other. In the CAs. Yeah. It really looks good with that palette. I love it. You got your dark and moody and your bright and bubbly. All in one. Definitely a load of fun these though. Yeah, that's magical. Really love that. Yeah, this I know is gonna spin off quite a bit. Maybe not as much, because it's had two good spins. Laws it's of nice. physics, mate. Mm, still because it's on the edges. Yep. Once you really get it moving. That's right. Then go slowly. <laughs> no <-ly. laughs> Alright, so let's scrape some of this off so we don't put our back down. That's really beautiful. And a big puddle of goo, because if you do that it makes it really slippery and it's easy to launch it that way. I'm very good at that. Although well, I haven't launched one for a while. Oh no, it's been a while. It's probably because there's that much spin on the that paint on the spinner now. It's got good traction. Yeah, it has. That is one good thing about built-up paint on your spinner. Oh, they look cool though. Look how they still kept definition. Yeah, love that. <laughs> And then I was just gonna do it like that originally. Yeah. And spin one out. No, I love that how it is. I like how they're just trailing up. Yeah, just. See, that's a good thing too about moving it around your spinner. You can manipulate your painting to your liking. Yeah, you can. That's Alrighty. Gorgeous. So then you've got your center bloom and then your two deconstructed blooms at the end. Love it with them CA swipes just popping through the cracks. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's trippy as. So that's just something cool to try with your blooms. Absolutely, it's a load of fun. Different backgrounds, give it some different feature. Yeah, I like it. It's a whole heap of different fun. Alright, we'll do a flyover of that one. Absolutely. Whoa. Really beautiful, I love that centre bloom. That's just trippy as. Look at the very centre of it. Really gorgeous. But give it a go at home, guys. It's a, a whole heap of fun. Absolutely. And if you do give it a go, put it up in our group on Facebook, Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art. We'd love to see what you've done. Yeah, we would. Always good to share. Absolutely. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Bubbles. Look at the bling coming off that. Oh, she's bright. Alrighty. So... That's it for us this week. It is, it is. If you like that, hit like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all our crazy stuff as we release it. 
Absolutely. All right, guys, that's it. So have fun, take care, and we'll, and we'll see, see you in the next one. one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day. Have fun.